Welcome everybody, this is your strategy wolf and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, our Lords of Penfro and actually not Prince Cattle but Lord Liverage. Um, yeah, what has been all going on? Um, yeah, we joined in a war actually after finding out that our father was killed by Ivor the Boneless but we before we could do anything about it to retaliate or get some revenge, we got caught up in a war in between our actually overlord and our allies, the uh, petty kings of Mercia. And we joined with the Mercians due to our alliance. Um, however, we got kind of beaten up and it looks like we're losing this one. So we'll see how this one turns out. We've got even within the battle we were fighting, we've got even imprisoned by Prince Cuddle the third last time. But due to our impatience, we couldn't want, didn't want to wait for his probably actually not this bad treatment. But we managed to escape, and so we are back in Penfro and waiting for our troops to return. Um, yeah, I think actually not so much going on. So yeah, let's go right in and wait how this war uh, develops and where we're going to go. After this retreat is done, we're probably gonna dissolve our troops where we quickly. Merfin joined. All right, he's also on the side. The Welsh. And yeah, we're kind of being a trader, even though it's not our intention. We just followed our mirror lines duties. I'm not sure how. I, actually, this would be some kind of interesting point. If you know how this would have been legally done in the medieval times, probably also differing from culture to culture. But would you rather? Would you be? Would it be necessary for me to follow my duke, who is like? His was, um, yeah, overlord would be King Honorward. So, do I have to follow my king or do I have, would I have to honor the alliance? I guess there was no clear, in the end, probably the answer is there was no clear rule set or it was more subject of personal and spontaneous decisions. I'm not sure. So, yeah, anyways, in this case, we decided as we did, and now we see the outcome. Actually, let's go a little bit faster since yeah, our crew troops are demobilized and let's rather make some progress here. When, if there's not so much happening for us right now, I think we can also get a little bit of a zoom out here and get an overview how the situation in the world looks like. Byzantine Empire is still kind of intact. The Abbasids also quite intact. And yeah, also Spain looks kind of halfway historical for the moment. Alfonso III. All right. Okay, this is also still the historical leader, so this makes a lot of sense. All right, um, hooray! A lot of stuff is happening. We're having a daughter. Um, yeah, my wife, my wife Ness presents me my perfect little daughter. Um, who will you become, my child? And what shall I call you? Well, let's keep Angarat. Why not Angarat up, lady? Why not? Perfect. Are we actually still swaying our court? No. I mean, in the meantime, when we're not really busy, we can also um, you know, improve our relations with certain people on our court. We could also try to learn a language. Is this our... Why actually not? Oh, well, let's just rather improve the relations first, and then we can still learn. Think about learning Irish. And this looks like the... Wait, wait. What happened? Why is suddenly... Yeah, when I told you like, and we don't have to spend too much attention, suddenly it looks like our troops have defeated them? No. This was just a weird display now. It looks like, yeah. Looks very much like a defeat against the King of Wales, yeah. Alright. I really hope that there's no implications for us, that they will not imprison us or take our lands or anything like that. That would be kind of a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Draw back, or oh, maybe five is too fast. Five is too fast. Can't see anything anymore. So we shall see and wait uh, until this war is over. Let's once again have a quick view on the world. We've got the Carling Kingdoms over here. Yeah, we've got okay, there's no Christianization so far in Polavia and so on. All Dorbs, uh, all um, Slovians can. Here the Swedes. Oh, surprising. Swedes and Danes are united in one kingdom. Interesting. And still there are Asa true, so quite danger. Apart from this, uh, yeah, we haven't played that long, so still halfway stable. All right, busy spirits and Diffid. 
In several villages of Diffe, there have been recent reports of strange groups of ghosts at night wearing somber clothing. They are, they are accompanied by bustling winds and a chill in the air. Oddly, the witnesses claimed these ghosts were otherwise harmless and were preoccupied with engaging in mundane activities like chatting, enjoying food, singing, dancing and playing various games, almost like as if there was a separate town of ghosts at night. Locals believe that, for whatever reason, these spirits of the dead are going to and fro and conducting various business. More rational and reputable scholars and priests, however, are skeptical about these claims and have not been able to verify them. They conclude this might just be either scattered instances of hallucinations or merely some kind of prank devised by some bored but clever and resourceful youths. Alright, I'm sure the ghosts were really there, beware, or I agree it's like a prank or mass hallucination. Just temperate, impatient. I don't know what he thinks about this, so I think it's time for the dice again, let's see. It's a three, so we go, uh, he thinks the ghosts are real, uh, so beware. Alright, we've got ten prestige, we've got heard and fairy story. Yeah, okay, intrigue, not very good for us. For as long as any card in your domain has the literal ghost towns modifier, you can do the ghost town investigation. Are you brave enough to dare? Alright. We get literal ghost towns, okay. With development growth, okay. But I think I'm impatient, so I'm definitely gonna... Where's the ghost town thing? I would love to do it right now. I'll follow it. Restore, 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 restore. I have no idea. My wife is pregnant again? Okay. Where is the button to do so. A nephew for a guardian for a nephew, alright, maybe then just, what is he learning to do? He's being, uh, yeah, yeah, he's going for education, then maybe illit. Why not? It's just my nephew. I'm, well, yeah, it's... How can I get rid of this now? The ghost town thing? Or I not, not necessarily get rid of it but how can i investigate come on is it on me i hope the mod i mean this was a mod event for sure i'm not sure if it fully functions because nothing is popping up over here oh it's oh it's an activity a ghost town investigation so yeah let's guess let's do this we're impatient we want to know what's going on there are many stories out there about so-called ghost towns, where the locals claim to witness seeing spirits moving around. Could any of these stories be true? Well, we have the money right now. Let's plan it. Yeah. That seems like great fun. Curiosity. Sure, that's the intent. We don't need to travel. Activity options. Sincerity. Obsessed. Um, I mean, we kind of believe in it, and we're impatient. So I think I tend to at least we go to serious, and we do have randomly money right now. So actually, when I think how since the here he takes it, I'm gonna roll the dice in between obsessed and serious. So uh, first th one to three is uh, obsessed. Uh, uh, not obsessed. Sorry, in front of this serious. So let's see, and we rolled a four. So actually, we are obsessed about this uh, this ghost town stories here in different though. And looks like also my guests are taking part. Well, let's do it. And let's see what let's do it maybe slower so I can I don't have it's the first time I'm doing this actually. I'm quite excited what's going to happen over here. Um yeah. Oh for my like stepmother's also taking part, okay. Sister in law, you've caught you. Why are they all riding? All right, why they're on horses? Who knows? Maybe on three then. It seems like this one is not accompanied by tons of events, though. 
Okay, for a long while now, there have been stories circulating about supposed ghosts appearing massive numbers in some settlements in Diffid. I was curious and I wanted to see if I could catch a glimpse of such supernatural phenomena, so on a whim I decided to go there myself to a town where such things are apparently common. Once we arrived, I and several guards decided to stay up late at night, watching outside the window for any signs of these spirits. Come on, come on, reveal yourselves. A spooky sighting! Just as I was beginning to doze off, I saw them. I saw all the spirits marching here and there. My jaw dropped open. Such things few, uh, few living people have witnessed. Yet there, ha yet there they were, walking around in like the living. I was so excited that I accidentally slipped and landed face first onto the floor. When I gained consciousness, my guards were relieved I hadn't injured myself, and they asked me what happened and why I was so excited earlier. I told them that I'd witnessed, but they were confused. One guard said, There's nothing out there, my lord. We saw nothing. I swear I saw the ghost. I'm not crazy. I saw them. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I look like a weirdo to them now. And that's it. Alright, finish the ghost talk investigation, though. So is the... Alright. Looks like we couldn't really find something, so we can do it again. I guess. Uh, uh, 10 years now, so this is probably it in this case. Alright, yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm a little paranoid or, yeah, you kind of see things, I don't know. The loathsome wolf of Diffid. My wife, Princess Ness, known for her interest in venery, brings rumor of beasts spotted in my realm. I'm hearing much talk from Diffid. It is said a foul wolf has been terrorizing the local villages, snatching livestock before disappearing into the flatlands. Beast sighting. Um, yeah, I think... Interesting. Yeah, I think uh, wolf hunting wolves here could be an interesting option for us. And maybe after the war, so some more people can take part. Let's wait until the war is over and then maybe host a hunt with my uh, you money that I can expense. But what, what else am I supposed to do? I think it's something that thrills him. And it's over. Mercia has to pay 230 a lot of money. Yeah, and actually, it doesn't happen anything to me. Fair enough. And with getting a central proposal. Wherever I go, my courtier Margaret is sure to follow. It's my sister-in-law. Um, oh, my half brother who's laid in battle, okay. So she now is after me, alright. That look in her eyes, the words on her lips, I know exactly what she's after. Um... We'll keep her close, very close, a distraction for tonight, but nothing more. How sweet, but no. Never the world will know of her perverted nature. Tired of these games, leave me alone, all of you. Um, so I'm definitely impatient. I'm also just and temperate in moderation, so he's probably not very super horny. <laughs> Let's see if... How are we doing with our wife? I mean, we do like our wife. Uh, I don't know. We'll keep her close, very close. I think the lava is too much because uh, yeah, we're kind of uh, yeah. What was it again? Uh, temperate. So I don't think he would go for this. But also we adjust so we wouldn't like yell it to the world. I think I'd rather one, two, three, these three options. And yeah, let's see what we roll. And we do roll a three, which means how sweet, but no, the most boring answer over here, like at least spectacular. At least it leaves a lot of options and uh, possibilities for the next time our character is being affected by such a situation. Oh yeah, the war was over and they wanted to do the hunt over here. All right, let's do it. Plan a hunt. Hunt in Diffid, of course, where we have the wolf sighting, actually. Alright, let's do it in Twitby then. Or over here, where the we have the absolute best chance here in Abagwan. We have wolves, no holdings, and hills. So let's go do the hunt over here. Uh, right, we have some hills, then we get some. Who are we hiring over here? Um, mountaineer, yeah. To help us out. Yeah, that should solve the problems. We are going for slaying the beast, actually. Um, let's see. Search parties, normal. No, party size, reasonable. I think that's perfect. That's, who are we inviting? 
uh, our fellow vassals in the high bath are invited and is our duke coming why, is he, why, why wouldn't he be invited anyways it's more about getting rid of the wolf i don't want to wait we're impatient so yeah there is, let's go for it a fresh start all right let's go hunting My daughter, with a tired yet blissful smile, Ness presents me with a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child, and what is, shall I call you? Isabel, why not? Lovely name. Hunt, making camp. Um, alright. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, my servants can get started on the preparations. The gamekeepers check the highlands each day for the signs of quarry while establishing a camp closer to the hunting grounds. Those wolves are close, I can feel it. Hopefully we get them. Asalf assembles the party as the sun rises over the camp in the highlands near Abargwan. My men have been gathering sightings of the wolf that is terrorizing the local area. There should be enough of us to find and corner the beast without too much trouble. The pack is noisance, scavenging from farms and retreating deep into the forests. Let's see if the rumors were true. Of course. Uh, not so many are here yet. My hunt is about to begin and I'm yet to name Master of the Hunt. Oh, I don't have the one right, okay. I could of course take on such responsibilities myself, but every good lord should know when to delegate. By far the most qualified man for the job is Dunchard, and he seems eager to prove himself. However, my friend Edan would make as a suitable and dependable candidate as I could ask for. So how, how good are they? Oh, I thought the qualities would be displayed over here. Let's have a look, actually. Dunchat is good and Eden is average. Mel we adjust and I feel like I think as a just man I feel like our marshal or he's also marshal that's, that's that means he also deserves some kind of um yeah some kind of bonus and I think even you see my uh, friend we adjust and temperate so I will yeah give the rather the better one the position. All right, Dunchad is doing it. Actually, was he the one that was like the Duke in the South? I think so, yeah, Desmond. We were fighting for him actually in our father's um, name. So yeah, it makes even sense that we also have some connections to him. So, illegal prey. Poachers here in the Lord's Hill. They huddle together as a ride up with my guards, making a poor job of hiding the dead stark behind them. We did not do this. Please have mercy, glorious lord. Their blades and bows belie, belie their words. Yeah, so Mirian, okay. They will hang and their villages will pay. Punished poachers. Holding taxes, probably opinion, okay. The animal is mine, along with fines for their lives. Alright. Um... I mean the chances, I mean the chances we don't know, so I feel like this would be halfway okay. And yeah, so we are just, I mean, but just temperate, so it's that we were kind of humble and caring about our people. I mean, people just breaking the law in this case and hunting is a different thing. But I feel like we're gonna do this one with the fines because, yeah, we're just not gonna kill them right away. That's not our style, so let's go for it. And it, yeah, it didn't work out, we didn't get any money, and there's a popular outrage. What a great start. And it followed up by an honest mistake. My friend Adan went on ahead of the group, chasing the wolf alone. When I catch up, I find him standing over a woman, shrugging an arrow from the poor commoner's chest. He hides the arrow behind his back when he spots me. Lord, it, it, it wasn't my fault, I swear. Soon enough, the rest of the party will catch up and demand an explanation. <laughs> All right, so he killed some re weird random uh, commoner. Okay, he fought Valentin. Did you say? For I saw it. Um, this diplomatic challenge. Quick, quickly help me hide the body. Uh, no, it's also not. We must answer. You must answer for this, Eden. But he's our friend. You know, this makes things a little bit. But we're just, and he's a friend. Alright, too bad the beast got you too. Alright, this is also not an option. So, no, we're not gonna kill him, for sure not. We are, um, 
also not going to help the body um help hiding the body so i think it's a 50 50 either we're lying for him and uh against our just beliefs but safe or like pretend to or try to help our friend or we make him yeah we will expose his secret i don't know let the dice shall decide what how the stance of liberac is in this way and we're rolling a six which means we are exposing actually his murder secret yeah we're being very just and honest in this case so but to be honest we're not gonna punish him for it so this is the next thing i feel like my marshal dunchard signals across the grassland also dunchard is, is an irish man suddenly has this i'm getting distracted too easily sorry guys but also he's wearing just a super weird easy clothing Maybe it's the vow of poverty. Ah, it's the vow of poverty. All right, all right, all right. Do they also have a vow of poverty? Doesn't really look like it. Maybe because they owe money. I don't know. Let's we'll see if the Mercians keep on wearing these clothes forever. But they all have it. I'm confused. Once again, if you if you know it, let me know. Um, anyways, let's continue here with the hunt. Um, cornering the wolf. My marshal Dunkrat signals across the grasslands. The whole wolf pack crouches in a hollow not far off. The beasts bolt up on their your approach, howling the alarm as they retreat into the leafy bushes, fang snarling. We chase after the fleeing silver vermin, focusing on the largest of the group. Now begins the real chase. Of course, we are impatient. After it, we ride. All right, treacherous game. Like all game, the Slippery Wolf has many tricks, blanches and ruses that can fool even experienced hunters. My Marshal Dunchard has halted the party. The Willy Wolf has been doubling to and fro, retracing its steps and running trails to throw us off the scent. There's no agreement over which course to follow, and each moment we tarry puts us further from our prize. I trust Dunchard, or what does the local gamekeeper think? Hmm... This way, not that way. Do we trust Dunchard? I think so. We had we, we know each other for a long time. He knows his ways from Ireland. We're younger. Yeah, we'll trust him. Come on. And he did find the scent. All right. Um, council meditation. All right. My duke wants to make me marshal of the Hoi bath. Okay, we have a uh, quite our opinion is very bad of him, but mainly because we want a seat in the council yeah so i think i mean he's callous vengeful torture we're not gonna do anything for, like everything for him but why not being a marshal it's an honor yeah sure let's be marshal of the bath then will also grant us some let's see what it actually brings to us it gives us more prowess army gold maintenance levy size and monthly martial, martial lifestyle experience so quite nice actually Let's go back to the hunt where we are. I think we've got this by a letter, the invitation to the court, or a messenger. Probably a messenger. After hours of riding, we are finally cornering the willy beast. Our chase has not been in vain. Whether tired or defiant, the wolf at last howls, turns towards us and let us out an almighty howl. The huntsmen quickly surround the growling animal, which glovers at me. It barred fangs, frosting and dripping with saliva. I will shoot it. Um... I will bring it down myself. Spares ready for what? Or unleash the hounds. I think no. Hounds, we are like there and we want to do it for sure. We are impatient and we want to do that, that one. But I don't know if we are... I mean, it's an animal. It's not, we don't have, it's not clear or how, if we have such a strong, um, stance on like knightlyhood or these principles of honorable fights so or hunt so i think i will go just with again the dice no matter what happens one to the first three options the hounds are out or do i want to put the hounds in no i think it's not unfitting so let's do the first three and let's see what the roll dice says it's a two so we uh, we will shoot it so we there's no chance of us dying kind of this dice are being a little bit boring today. Anyways, we will shoot it. And I'll take aim as the party. Keep the exhausted ammo in place, exhale and loose. The arrow strikes through straight into the heart's beast. 
that's how you do it. And yeah, which increases our glory that we remove the uh, wolves and apparently we're even getting the fangs. Hunts like these are pure joy. I cannot wait for the next year. There's nothing quite like the thrill of bringing down a mighty beast. Dunchard, the master of the hunt, directs the breaking up, clumsily skinning the carcass before letting the game masters take over. We place the eager dog's share of the spoils on the stretched height before departing for camp and home. I'll keep a memento. Um, no, we'll definitely keep this once. It was not Dunchard's. Yeah, we're not that generous or anything, so I think we will keep it. Yes. So, let's have a look what we... Oh yeah, the conclusion. Hunts like these are pure joy. I cannot wait for the next year we return home from the rules and hunt in glory. Okay, let's finish. Wonderful. Um, and we are getting the thanks, which grant us more prestige. A little bit less stress gain. Okay, glory, hound vessel, levy contribution, a little bit plus. Yeah, I mean, not a special artifact, but I think our very... Not our very first one, though. We got the quest extra gem. Well... The first proper artifact that deserves to be owned by a lord of Penfro. So that's what's up. Right, so we can continue. And we come back home. Um, we've been out for 757 days. But nothing special happened. Actually, let's have a look how... Okay, we've got the hunter trade. I mean, I'm not really firm with this they are in with the last since the latest dlc these traits i have been changed and i don't know i just go occasionally hunt i've never really pushed super hard here so we get a master but yeah we shall see if it's in liberage's faith and who's battling here on my ground wales versus who are we fighting the northman army oh gosh uh the pity kingdom of mercia wait Are the Yarl of the Northern Army, is he really just attacking for for the one Mercian province and he would get that one? Wait, maybe did a surrender. Keeps the contested title and force demands. Yeah, so basically it's just about this province. Okay, and who is he actually, this this Norseman? Jarl Horfro. Uh, he's just a random invasion army, right? From the House of Normandy, okay. Well... <laughs> I doubt it a little bit, but yeah, it's in our country. We're fighting off the Vikings, of course. I think this is something we definitely want to do. Offer to join war. Let's do this. Let's raise our army quickly. So and maybe we can even join this this very battle. Yeah, we have, we, it doesn't take too long to get our troops out. Let's, is there an answer? Can we join the war? Oh, are we part of the war already? I'm not sure. Is there no answer necessary? Oh, uh, yeah. We, I, I think I saw our uh, coat of arms, so I think we're in. And yeah, of course, we're fighting personally also. There's, there's no debate off on this one. And we shall just arrive on time to get some of the great glory of fighting off them. I mean, it's our land, you know, so I guess it's important we show some presence. And yeah, there at the same time, our leash goes to war. Duke Hilbert, who just made us the marshal against Prince Cuddle, the brother of our overlord, where we escaped from his prison. So what is he claiming, actually? On the lordship of Berlick. So he wants to conquer this county, which is in the hands of another brother, Prince Tudwell. Um... I feel like we will remain neutral because it's also not our obligation to join in and yeah there's no need i think this, this event by the way comes also from a mod it's not standard in there um yeah it's kind of nice that you have the chance to join, join in however i don't know how the ai acts uh, uses it and so yeah it is a little bit to observe and also in another single player game i have the feeling that i could was pulled into a war and then i lost it and there was basically no um punishment for doing so so yeah the battle is over nevertheless in other ground shortly after our hunt and yeah the king's forces of uh, anarvat the bear are very victorious with only 279 losses their 3000 men are being destroyed um not the detail oh what? oh I, okay i unfortunately pushed it away i wanted to know if what we did personally or our troops 
Anyways, uh, we've got absolute control since we've turned into like almost an overseer right now. So this is something else. And yeah, let's just quickly see how the North Army has been defeated. So I guess this one is gonna end very soon. And we've got, oh yeah, this is the, the Heubatian claim. Oh, we're so slow. I want to see this more war to end. Don't you want to end it? All right, on the 1st of January, they ended the war. So the Northman army has been yeah, fought off. Very nice to see, good development. And yeah, I think, oh, actually I'd unpaused. Anyways, I think the beginning of January and a new year is always a good time to end an episode. So shall it be this time? Um, yeah, I hope you really like this one. Uh, let me know what you think, what I shall do as always. Uh, leave me a like and a subscription if you haven't yet. It helps me a lot and doesn't cost you anything. And apart from this, I hope to see you in the next episode as well. So yeah, bye and see you in the next episode, your strategy wolf.